friends, today on the show, we're looking at some products from Moft. Moft? It's the Moft exciting package I've gotten. Actually, I've been sitting on this bag. I'm excited to get into this for one product in particular. Let's see what we got. Oh my, a lot here. This is what I'm talking about with those guys. And we've got the tablet stand, tablet case, and another iPhone case. And, all right, let's start with this guy here. An origami laptop case. How protective is it? And then how decent is the stand? Here's the size of my 16 inch MacBook Pro. All of this is inspired by some origami. Slides in great. What kind of protection do I have around this? I mean, yeah, because you have that burly material on each side, just that burl, it's not that burly. What does this material feel like? It has a slight tackiness, like, non-stickness it feels really good i think it's it's a faux leather it's not real leather then there is an actual pocket on this side is sort of like a it's really just a sleeve on the inside can you see this little thin little piece right here between your computer so if i put the back of my computer here i bet i could put my two most important things here some of you are cringing like no don't do it i got my my external hard drive and my power source. If I just slide that in there, I, it's like a simple way to carry the things that I need. Does that stay closed? Eventually? Eventually. So here's like the, I mean, it's not, it's discreet. Nobody knows what that is. It's, some, it's, some, it's kind of sexy. Like I'm sort of, I find it, somewhat arousing, not in a meaningful way, but just like it gets the party started. I'm noticing myself feel surprised by how quality this feels. The heft of the laptop in there, the tightness of this around my stuff, keeping it in place, you know, this this feels pretty damn good. If, you're, if you have a bag that doesn't have a great laptop compartment and every time you open it, you just pull this out. And are you ready? Like we're about to get into some of the interesting stuff. Your laptop comes out. I've got to pull this stuff out to get into this. And then, okay, I've never done this before, so let's just see. We're gonna pinch in, there it is. And then we're gonna throw this just kind of like inside there like that. I'm gonna take my laptop and you, can you see this little, this little bit right here? That's surprisingly elegant, minimal material that works well. Let me take this down to where it might be at like a cafe, because this could be kind of useful at a cafe just to get my screen up a little bit. My screen is up a little bit. I'm like, compared to down here, I am, you know, up there. Feels pretty freaking solid. So there are magnets right there that hold that flap down. And then that's like what provides so much of the support for this thing, because you can push quite hard. Apparently, you could also do, that's probably it, just using the top like that, maybe, is a 15 degree or the 20 degree. I'm always gonna want to go for the, the tallest to get my thing up like that. I'll sacrifice a little bit of wrist control or like comfort, because when are my wrists pulled back like that? I'm okay with working that out a little bit to get my neck up a little bit. Very impressed with this product. I do not remember what they're selling this for, but this is definitely gonna go into my collection of, I've got a video that I'd like to do on like, where, what are the things you can put your laptop in, in any bag that even if it doesn't have a laptop case, you'll feel like there's some protection there. This is not like, I'm going to be out in the jungle, like throwing my bag around kind of protection. This is like scuff, some puncture protection, definitely some denting protection, edge protection, right? This is like regular city, everyday life kind of protection, um, but not the kind of thing that you could just like hand this, you know, put some tape around this and hand it to the freaking airline and, and your laptop's gonna be safe, right? That's not what their goal was on this. They wanted it something really slim and slender that you can use as a tabletop stand. I think they crushed that. This feels good. 
Okay, now this is a bundle. It's a different company, Switch Easy and Moft doing a collab. In here is an iPad case that clicks on and then has a little space for your pencil. Pretty thin and minimal, but rigid, right? It's not gonna add a lot of space to your iPad. This is designed to work with the new Magic Keyboard that like kind of has the stand on it, which I don't have. And I was just looking at like, maybe I should just go ahead and use right now to get, as an excuse to get me one of those, but they're pretty damn expensive. And I've got this older iPad with this thing and I'm not complaining really at all, except for the fact that the other one does bring up my screen a little bit to there and it has a trackpad. What's that like? So your tablet is supposed to click right in, just like so, and it gives you protection on just about every side without adding much like weight or size or anything. I do like that this holds my uh, Apple Pencil into case here because, uh, I don't know, I'm always throwing my Apple Pen, like this whole thing in and not like really like, not doing it carefully. And in this, I don't worry about my iPad, really, but I do worry about that pencil not being there when I come back to it. But you must notice how this does not protect on this side. That is because this is designed to fit into that case. I mean, here it is on with this, I, I mean. I think this is working just with this one. I might just leave this on and just like, it just gives me a little tray to put my Apple Pencil in. Hello? They don't even say that anywhere. They don't even mention that anywhere. Because we don't have that case adding any density here because the case does have those, those magnetic uh, electric bits that connect to the thing. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so when I open it up, Da, da, da. Look at this. This is probably how I'm gonna keep this thing. Okay, so the thing this allows me to do is it allows me to take this little magnetic sheet, which apparently is a pretty powerful magnet, and attach it to this case instead of attaching it to my iPad. Now, this looks just thick enough to keep my connection here from happening, I'm wondering. I mean, no, it seems doesn't seem to be a problem. Keyboard works and everything, so it actually, I mean, I guess it is working. I mean, I'm surprised. Now, why would I put a magnetic sticker on the back of a, fr this is nice that this allows me to pull my iPad out and still have some protection and my Apple Pencil in there. Okay, so this thing becomes the reason why. This is their origami iPad, tablet stand, magnetic. You can use this however you want when you don't need it. It's just like, so if I ever need to go like, which I typically am not typing on this thing. I keep it more as a protective case and in case I need to do email or something, I can. But I'm using a lot of the Apple Pencil and writing, I got that nice little screen protector on there. And if I wanna switch into like, you know, Netflix mode, da da da. Maybe I wanna go full FaceTime. Da, da, da. Now I didn't really like look at like, where should I put that magnet on this thing? But it doesn't matter because wherever it is, it's working fine. This is a really strong magnet as from the feel of it. And then again, what does this moft part of it feel like? First of all, there's the, there's the sticker itself, which is really nice and, and sticky and tacky. And it has like, it has a little bit of density to it, like, or a little, and a, like maybe it's like a millimeter or so thick something and it's really quite magnetic you know then there's this thing itself and as you can see there's a bunch of ways to do this portrait mode there's three angles landscape mode there's three angles you've got magnets in this thing so it is like these solid little connecting feelings you get when it locks into place and then there's this other mode where it's like like what is that like that, that's just a little more reinforcement. This thing's rad. I'm clearly gonna need to look at like the instruction manual for that. This is not gonna be your instruction manual. I'm just gonna give you a sense of like, does this product feel quality? And yes, it does. There's one 
mode I'm trying to get to, which is like a low version of this. That could be useful if it's pretty sturdy. Also nice that on the back of this case, they have a little finger hole for getting your pencil out. But for getting this kind of like a little bit angled, this is kind of nice. It gets my head up a little bit as I'm doing it. Although I do imagine that just keeping it down like this, like I'm really down when I'm down on the table like this. So maybe that's something I can use more often. I can certainly carry it around anywhere with me without it taking up any space or without it falling off. Like this is quite, like I can put this in a bag, this isn't gonna fall off and my Apple Pencil isn't gonna go anywhere. Okay, then we've got this guy, the iPhone 12 Pro case. It's not like a rigid, hard plastic, almost has, like it's like one step from plastic towards rubber, tons of durability. I've got, or like, like you know, a little bit of flex, like a little bit of softness to it feels like it's gonna work well. It's white, you can see the magnetic strip. Apparently the magnetism is supposed to be twice as strong as Apple's MagSafe. It like increases the power, the magnetic connection between any other MagSafe product. I do have button covers on volume, a little hole for the up and down and a volume cover for that guy. Okay, let's pull mine out of this Exter case, which this was, did not happen in this case. This happened with another case that was supposed to be protecting. <laughs> it's fine. This Exter case has been really good. I'll link to this below. What I love about it is it is very, very powerful magnet here. Very powerful, way more powerful than Apple's stuff. I can't even touch Apple's stuff. This is really powerful. Three cards. Get this guy in here. Fits nice and snug. Feels good. Definitely feels like good protection, right? Love that I can see my little crack and the color of my phone through that. That's something that I haven't been able to do in a while. I've got my buttons. I'm not loving the feel of the button. The big one's fine. Let's see on these volume. It feels like it takes a little more, well, it's getting a little bit better now. Maybe it's just gonna take a little while to, to fill in. By the way, I've got a red filter on my phone because I care about my eyesight. Getting at my stuff here, this feels fine. When I have a case on, it's like, this is always a little bit of a hassle. You need fingernails. Looks like a big enough opening here for my cables and most cables. Okay, the real thing I'm interested in is what is the connection here? between, oh, that's, oh, damn, yes. Oh, that's strong. This also does this like finger hold thing. That could come in handy when I'm sitting upside down and you need to, and you don't want your phone to fall in your face, right? I, that's happened before. Uh, yes, so immediately the connection is way sound, definitely where I would need it to be to enjoy something. Cause I don't want this falling off in my pocket. This also becomes a stand for your phone in a couple different ways, right? So you can do this a few different ways, portrait, landscape, it works. Now they say it fits three cards and then po and possibly a little bit, a little bit more. And once it's in there, what's it like to get that? That's actually really easy to get. Like even just the top one out, let's see. Oh. And uh, they really will, they like to come out all at once. So can I keep the bottom ones in a little more than the top one? As long as it's not in the way of my camera lens. Um, pretty good, but when I'm pulling this out, I'm basically pulling all three out. That's one of the things I've actually liked about this extra one is I have two in the back and then one up top and it tends to just come right out and that's a big deal. But everything here is good enough for me to try this out personally for a while, I, cause I, you know, it's just nice to have a different, just something fun and fresh. So with this one little addition, I've got all the protection. I've got, I've got my stand to go that way and that way. I've got the upside down kind of like being able to hold my phone. The magnet's super strong, that feels good. I've got my wallet and if I need to, I can take my wallet off of my phone, leave this at home and just take my wallet out because I'm like, really gonna connect with my friends. They have so many colors of this. This is a this is the iPhone 12 Pro, like Max case. They have different shapes and sizes, lots of different colors. The material feels great on all of this stuff. Seriously impressed with the like material feel, the origami, like the designing of it. This is like, a little bit of design nerd's wet dream. Feel like with my phone like this, it feels like kind of chunky, you know? 
uh, in it, like, because I have more protection. I don't have that leather. This is pretty, I mean, this has got to be the same size. So this feels a little bit chunkier, a little bit fatter, loses some points for me for that, even though it gives me more security. So, and then I've got like the chunks and the, and the, the bits and the bops, uh, like the, just the angles and the levels and fucking, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big time design guy. I can use words, but it does give me that thing, which have you ever done that where you're like looking at your phone, like in bed and then it literally falls down on your face and you have that whole, like, what am I doing with my life? inquiry going on. Check out Moft. Check out what they're up to. My sense of these things is they're well designed and they keep their promises. I think uh, this is kind of how I expected this thing to feel. I always want a case to feel a little slimmer, sleeker, and I think that they can improve this over time is my hunch. I believe in you, Moft, because you've clearly got the goddamn skills. Like, I'm very impressed. This is definitely going in the Hall of Fame laptop cache protection thing. I would say it wouldn't cost them very much to add a little more protection to those edges, like down here at least on this this bottom. I and mean, we gotta we gotta make sure everything folds the way it needs to. Slightly could use a bit more protection. Um, this whole thing is beautiful. This whole thing is so I didn't think I was gonna be all about this. I was like, ah, it's not gonna fit with my case. It does. Ah, I don't really need this thing. It's like, oh, actually elevating that a bit is super helpful for my neck when I'm writing on it, portrait mode. Like this is my biggest surprise. This is my little bit of bummer because I really wanna, I'm gonna try this out. It's definitely worth trying out and I'll get a better feel for it over time. This was super like, feels nice. I do think some of you are gonna get this and wish it had more protection. So I keep saying that, keep saying that. But for me personally, this is like an epic thing to take to the cafe and be able to get my neck up just slightly. Every little helps. This has been Chase Reeves. Check out Matterful.co when you want to look for good everyday products that are actually fucking good. Pardon my French. Get on the email list there because we do giveaways and that's where we do the giveaways. The next giveaway will be at 150,000 subscribers, which we're moving towards. The uh, last thing I need to say is be yourself, because everyone else is taken. I need to take this. Bye-bye.